If you've used the multiplayer game Kahoot, then you know what an engaging resource it can be in the classroom. But as excellent as Kahoot is, wouldn't it be great if we could make just a few changes? Showing the question and answer on student devices, options for individual pacing, question review, and most importantly, allowing students to take quizzes independently for homework. If you have these questions, then the website Quizzes might be an answer. Quizzes is a multiplayer game very similar to Kahoot, which integrates aspects of gamification, including music, avatars, leaderboards, and internet memes. But it's a little bit different in the sense that it allows students to complete the same quiz at different times. For example, with Kahoot, a teacher needs a projection device. Students use this display to view the question and answer selections. The teacher, not the individual students, are controlling the pace. Essentially, Kahoot can only be utilized inside a classroom. But quizzes is different. The questions and answers are actually displayed on student devices, so you don't necessarily need a projection screen. The pace of each question is determined by the student, and you can play quizzes as a whole group activity or an independent assignment like homework. So here's how quizzes works. After signing up for an account at quizzes.com, teachers can build their quiz by writing questions. Like Kahoot, you can either start a quiz from scratch or search through thousands of public quizzes to modify. You can even add images to your questions by copying and pasting the URL. After finishing, a teacher has the option of how they want to customize their game by turning features on or off. Once your quiz is ready, you can assign it to students in two different ways. The first version is a live session. Your students sign in using an access code at join.quizzes.com. When the class is ready, you can start their session. Students progress through each question at their own pace. While they may be at different points, they are still competing against each other. To get a visual representation of their progress, a teacher has the option to project this graph, which is kind of like a leaderboard. You can also see a breakdown of correct and incorrect responses for each class. You'll notice that after each question, an internet meme pops up. Pretty fun. You can't customize these, but there is an option to turn them off entirely. The second way to assign a quiz is as homework. When you select this mode, you're prompted to pick an expiration date for the quiz. To join your quiz's homework, students need to go to join.quizzes.com and use this access code. Even though they may be taking the quiz minutes, hours, or even days apart, they're still competing against each other. This leaderboard will display the highest scores since the quiz was made available, almost like one of those retro video games. Now, once a student has completed their activity, Quizzes provides an opportunity for students to review their answers. At any time, a teacher can go into My Reports and download a spreadsheet of data. So does this mean that Quizzes can replace Kahoot? Well, it could, but both Quizzes and Kahoot are excellent, engaging tools for review that generate data to further inform your instruction. Depending on the objectives of your activity, it would probably be best to use them both throughout the course of the year. Quizzes is a unique instructional tool for review, and it's powerful. It allows students to complete activities independently from any location, as opposed to only inside the classroom walls. And it works on any device. To sign up for a Quizzes account, go to www.quizzes.com.